Hey guys, it's Spacey Sims, and we are back with another installment of The Sims for Alternate Realities Challenge. And as you can see, where her house seems to be a little bit different, and Annabelle has a little bit of a makeover. So, I gave Annabelle a couple new outfits and a little bit of styled hair. We kept her hair short, though. But also, we have a new house. So... As I was kind of talking about in the last part, they decided that they were having a little bit of a difficulty with dealing with being in Windenburg and having the nosy cops and everybody just kind of being a little bit too in their business about, you know, Luna disappearing and whatnot. You know, Windenburg is a, it's, you know, you think it's kind of like a city slash suburby kind of town. But everybody knows everybody. It's actually a really small town, even though it has that city area and the, the country kind of area. And it was a little bit hard. Ooh. Actually, I think she would say yes to that. So I think Piper would say yes. Uh, even though... Even though they just moved out of town, this would have been better if they were already living there. Uh, because this is a Windenburg thing. But that's okay. So, you know, she needs to get her groove on, maybe. I don't necessarily know if she would find another person. But, got lost my train of thought there. Yeah, they moved from Windenburg just because it was a little difficult for them to kind of fit in and have everyone they're wearing the same shorts on us that's kind of funny it just because it was it was it was getting a little difficult to that really does not match Siobhan where's she going oh they're going to go try on clothes it, it was a little bit difficult they were having a hard time and just to not have to deal with it or make it difficult in their lives or the lives of the children because right now Gunner is the only child but you know that Piper is totally going to make sure that Annabelle and Monet have more kids. And, you know, Annabelle really wants to have more kids. Because she's, uh -huh. I'm not going to say she's devious, but she definitely wants to be with Monet. She really likes him. She has a thing for him. And now she's kind of gotten into this, like, he's my man. And, uh, you know, if, if having kids is what keeps him around, then, you know. <laughs> Woo. Ah. Ooh, it Griffin. A Griffin. <laughs> okay, we were gonna go try on outfits, and now we're gonna go swim. Alrighty, Hello, whoa, then. whatever. It's a nice bathing, but that's a nice bathing suit. That's a nice bathing suit. I like it a lot. It looks very pretty on you. I don't even know what the hell that was. It wasn't what I was going for. I. Anyway. So, yeah, they moved. They live in that house. And I would show you the house, but we got invited. Actually, I could probably leave her and switch control to Abigail. Uh, I will leave her having fun with the Paragons. I got distracted. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. Don't hate me. Oh, we're going to load this. Also, I apologize if I take momentary breaks and you hear nothing. It's allergies. Uh... But yeah, so this is their new house. Let's go outside. Let's. I got this off the gallery. I did not make this because I am lazy and I did not want to build a house. And I wanted something that looked good in Oasis Springs. And I wanted something that had like five bedrooms but wasn't ridiculously expensive. And that's extremely hard to do because I swear to God, people make gorgeous mansions and they have like one bedroom. Or, like, two bedrooms. And it's like, oh, my dear sweet baby Jesus. Why are there no... I. I hate the fact, I think the problem is the gallery. You can't search by bedrooms. I can search by the price. I can search by the size. I can search by packs, but I can't search by the number of bedrooms. I get that not everyone's going to put the number of bedrooms in their thing, but I need I needed five bedrooms. We want, you know, do we need at least three for the adult? Well, two. Well, yeah, three for the adults because Monet has his own little, like, I'm locking myself away. So Monet needs a room. Annabelle needs a room. Um, Piper needs a room, and then we need at least two for the kids. We can't have all three kids sharing the same bedroom. You know what I mean? So we need, like, a girl's boys, because I definitely want them to have a girl and one more boy. I might make them twins. We might just kind of force it. 
Or we might get her fertility treatment and pretend that Piper is like dosing her with fertility meds. <laughs> you know, because Piper. But anyway, so this is their little house. So it's got like a little pool in the back. You know, and, you know, there's Ordell popping out, hanging out in the backyard. So let's go down. This first top floor, which, okay, you can't play like that because the roof looks ridiculous in there. But this, uh, I just, I changed the decorations up a little. This is a kid's room. It also had a baby thing in it. But I decided to change it up a little bit. Um, I moved some things around. I left the posters and stuff here. I changed the desk and I put some of the new kids pack stuff in here and changed the colors. So yeah, I changed this up, but this was a kid's bedroom. Why are you cleaning up all the toys? Please stop doing that. I put them out for a reason. I hate that. Uh, anyway, so yeah, kids room. We got two beds for kids up here and the blue and the yellow. It could be, you know, this could be a girl's bed. That could be a boy's bed, vice versa. It doesn't matter. Um, I figured the blue and the yellow is kind of neutral. That of course doesn't come in any other colors. Down here, we have an empty bedroom, which was originally going to be Piper's room, but I decided to, um, I refurbished the basement a little, and that's where we put Piper. So this will be one of the kids' bedrooms. So if we end up with two boys, which we might, they might stay up here, and the girl might end up down here. If for some reason we do a fertility treatment and she has multiples, like this could be two girls' bedrooms or something. If she ends up having like for some reason triplets i'm gonna make sure it's two girls and a boy this way we have you know whatever i don't really want that many kids but uh and this is her room so this is annabelle's room so she has and i think this is really cute because it's got like this i put the closets in there by the way because uh, that closet in there this is basically what the room looked like and this is where the baby is he baby is now in the closet so they had a like just like a built to be a closet like a makeshift and i just put the closet in there but I love this because it's got like the little computer area. And this is kind of her bedroom. Uh, and then we have a little bathroom up here. So nothing fabulous in the bathroom. We can redecorate. We got our pretty kitchen. It's really freaking dark in that kitchen, but whatever. And the dining area, their living room. And then downstairs. Now I adjusted this. Downstairs you come in and there's this area, which I left. And then the bar, which is perfect. And then there was a little bit of a room in here, which I think there was exercise equipment. I forget what was in here. But I made this into – this originally – it the wall used to end here. And I originally had the bed here, and this was his studio. So, oh, that's perfect. He's. I think I may have already had them claim beds. Did I? Yeah, well, you're claiming that bed because that is yours. Oh, I was going to sell that. We can't sell that. Let's have you do an abstract. Let's do a small one for right now. So this is basically his room. And I'm actually going to lock door for everyone but Monet. So no one can get in here. This is his room. And then what I did is I extended it so he's got now more room. This is Piper's bedroom down here. So she'll sleep down here with her brother. Uh, her little pink pretty room. And then I just gave them a little bathroom down here. So there's more basement area and she is like busy as a bee. Where's Piper? Oh, Piper came home. Okay, good for you. I didn't realize that she was going to come home on her own. She's like, I'm tired. I'm beat. I don't want to be out anymore. That was wonky as all get out, her spinning around in circles like that. Yeah. So that's definitely your bed. You. I'm going to have you claim a bed. This is yours. Claim. I wonder, do we have enough to get her? Uh, where is it? Is it this? No, it's this. I don't think we have enough to get her fertility treatment and I don't think and it really sucks because we can't get fertility treatment for anyone else we need a lot don't we uh, I think we need at least a thousand yeah 1500 I have the mod in that cuts it down in half because that's just freaking ridiculous how many some of these things cost so yeah we're not gonna 
Make a ridge port. I mean, we can always cheat multiple pregnancy uh, in because I have the MC command center. I kind of didn't want. Let's go downstairs and make a ridge port. Uh, make a drink. Make a ridge port. There you go. Practice. And he just made another painting. That's lovely. I've got to remember not to sell these. And I believe we have... No, it's in the family inventory, I believe. I don't even think about that. Like, I totally forgot to put the paintings out that were in the family inventory. Oh, no, that's right. Never mind. <gasps> Did I sell them by accident? Oh, shit. I think I sold them by accident. There was a ton of stuff in the family inventory when we moved. Oh. Or did he have any paintings? Maybe he didn't have any. I know when I reloaded the game, obviously, he lost all of his paintings. But then I'm just wondering, did he not make any before we moved here? I may have accidentally deleted them if I put them in the family inventory. I don't remember. Because when we moved here, it doesn't ask you when you're selling your house if you want to sell, sell the furniture. It automatically just puts it in your family inventory. And that's frustrating as all get out because it's like, I don't want to keep all the furniture. I want to change it when I get there. So it's kind of annoying. I'm like, crap, now I got to go through and delete all this damn furniture. And I just went, like, I was literally, like, clicking and thing and delete, 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 just clicking and deleting, like, as fast as I could. I may have accidentally deleted things that he had. I do love the fact that there's 500 drinks down here. She wants to stargaze with Piper. She wants to go swimming. Proposed crazy scheme. Let's, let's do these and see what we get. She wants to finish a painting and buy a hot tub. I doubt we're going to do either one of those. Buy a drink founding. Founding. Yeah, talk about dreams. Analyze a book. Um, I guess we can analyze a book or something. Can't you do any pick out anything that I actually want to make you do? Like More choices. Friendly. Can we talk about dreams? Talk about dreams. Because she wants to do that. So we should have her seriously come and talk to... When I, we really need better lighting in here because this is just horrifying. This is like the worst ever. These lights are just awful. I hate the lights in the game. The lights are just shit. They're absolute shit. They really are. I miss that damn lamp. That I had that was custom content that it was just great. It was like this, but ten times better. Like, this lamp isn't terrible. But it's not great. But it's still... Okay, that's way better than the other one. Like, I... Did you talk, propose, crazy, talk about dreams, whatever? She's like, I had this dream that we had more kids. He's like, good lord, I can't handle that. I feel like creating Simlish was probably the hardest part of this whole thing. Like, just creating a whole language. I mean, granted, you don't have to have real topics of conversation because it's not like talk about dreams. They're just they're random things that they'll probably like. These are okay to say in these situations. These are angry things. And, oh, and obviously like soul soul, you know. But like, I'm sure that there's some things that like it's not like oh, so I had this dream about X, Y, or Z, and you have to come up with a million topics. You know, it's just okay. Well, I love the fact that he's not crying because we left. You can wait to pee. You're going to have to feed the stupid baby. <laughs> In all reality, uh, uh, sim social services, social sim services uh, would have been coming to take him away because he's locked in a closet. Oh. You know, it's not that small. It's just nursery size. Oh. 
<laughs> the babies look disgustingly creepy. While feeding, it's like its eyeballs are like, I can't blink. Like, the babies don't blink. I just... I mean, I... I can kind of understand... Whoops, sorry. I was reaching for something and I lost my... I can kind of understand why they made the babies, like, useless objects where the Sims can just interact with them and put them right back because, you know, in the other versions of the Sims, it's like, let me carry my baby and then let me just put it on the floor. Nobody ever put their baby back in the crib. It's like, oh my god, I have to tell you to put your baby in the crib instead of, like, on the floor or, you know, in the middle of the road. So, you know... Tethering them to cribs was probably for the safety of the baby. It was probably a smart idea. It seems stupid. But considering how stupid Sims are, you know, you gotta just, you know, you gotta, you gotta work with it. View a piece of art. Do we have any art? Can we view? That? No, we don't have any art in here that we can view, do we? Can we? That's not a piece of art. Do we have any art in this wall? Here we go. View. And then analyze a book. Do we have a bookshelf? I'm not sure if we have a bookshelf in this house. That's... We do... Okay, we do up here. Uh, I was like, the kids have one, and what's her face has one. Um, open. Can we... Analyze Crisis Barn. I'm trying to get her some points. So that we can, uh... Perhaps... What, did she view? Yes, yeah, she did. And maybe you should go pee after that. Oh, we need our uh, garbage can that makes us money. Let's actually go buy that. We don't have that. I believe we can... Yeah, we can just put it over here. Where's our garbage can that makes us money? Money, 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 money. We like money. Ahem. I can't. Nope. Is she analyzing a book while she's peeing? <laughs> Proposed crazy scheme. When you're done with that, you're going to propose a crazy scheme. And then we're going to have you swim laps. So let's do that. Let's, can we just super speed through this so you can be done analyzing the book? Because, good lord. I don't think it was going to take this long. This better be worth a lot. It's worth 25. You know what? It's not even worth it. <laughs> I was like, it's not even worth it at this point. It's taking you way too long. Never mind. We won't propose. That was worth... <sighs> Get engaged. Uh, we can pin that. What's this? Buy a dishwasher. Oh, we need to... That we can do! We don't have a dishwasher? What is wrong with this house? The, uh, legit, when it was built, there probably weren't no... Di weren't no there weren't no dishwashers when this thing was... I bet there weren't no dishwashers when this here house was built. Good freaking lord. Uh, I meant to say I'd... They're probably we did probably didn't have dishwashers in the game when they built the house. It doesn't exactly match, but it's Bam. Okay, you can get out. Become energized. I don't know about that. So let's go to bed. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna work. So it's like six AM, so you just said that twice. You have work at four. Oh, you have ten hours. That's fine. Everyone in the house is asleep. <laughs> except for the baby. Oh, now everybody else is awake. Piper needs to go... Okay, she's gonna eat. He's gonna go party. And I made everything in here this weird avocado green. Just because I figured, like... It, it would be an old basement. And they probably would have, like, avocado green stuff. and Not have fixed it. That's beautiful. So beautiful! Huh. Oh, oh, oh. oh, an excellent quality hamburger made by you, Piper. <laughs> you oh, made that hamburger, so and it's so excellent. Good. You know what? It looks delicious, <laughs> to be honest with you. Straight up honest. 
So she's enjoying their new life in this place, and she thinks this is going to work out quite well. I was going to throw that away and make us money, but... What abs? What are you doing? It took you that long to pee? Were you debating... Were you having an exist existential crisis there while taking a poop? I'm assuming. That's all I can assume. What in the world? That is the biggest plate of food. I'm just saying. She's still hungry. So why don't you eat those eggs and toast? I'm going to put that away. Meanwhile, she's going to come down here. Let's propose a crazy scheme. And she's like, you should... Uh, here, here's this crazy thing. I kind of feel like you should marry Annabelle. Because I just, I had this dream that you were married and it was this perfect. I mean, you have a kid and you don't want your kid growing up not having married parents. I mean, remember how hard it was for us when mom disappeared? Even though, I mean, Ordell's not really her father, but, you know, he was like her dad, I guess. Like, he kind of raised her. She's like, you know, it would be really great. And the baby is over here screaming and nobody gives a crap. Least of all me. She's like, you should absolutely... I just think it would be great. You guys are perfect for each other. Yes! <laughs> I just like it when I can... Uh... He's like, I don't know. Oh, on the mu at the museum, yeah. What's this? Cloud gaze with Annabelle. Ask Annabelle about her day. Okay, so we'll pin those so he can do this. Buy a drink fountain. But I don't want to. I love the fact that this baby is up here screaming and nobody gives a crap. No wonder why he's going to be, like, terrible. I forget. I don't... Crap. I don't have the thing. I don't know what we're supposed to give them certain traits. I think as children, we'll just give them whatever traits we want. And then when they get older, if they have to have certain traits, that's when we'll worry about it. Because I don't think we need to worry about it until they are, like, young adults or teenagers or whenever their generation comes up. So she's, like, taking care of the baby. Because poor Annabelle. You know, she's the one that's working and having the babies and having to deal with Monet. And Piper's life is like, I just roll in the money by bringing in people. Which I think is probably why Piper would, you know, she joined the Paragons feeling like, you know, I have no intention of, like, moving back to Windenburg. But staying in contact with some of these people is probably good. And the Paragons are the very upper crusty, snotty group of kids. Or people, because they're not all kids, but... And it would just probably be good because she could then figure out, okay, whose family has money? So who can I marry into, you know, to kind of get more money for our family? I mean, we're not doing too bad. We got almost 400,000 simoleons in the bank, but this house wasn't cheap and their mortgage is going to be expensive. I mean, granted, they're not really going to be paying mortgages. They pay their normal bills, but... And we bought the house outright. But you know damn well this house wouldn't have cost like the 200,000 simoleons that it cost. It would cost a hell of a lot more than that probably. So she's kind of scheming. So let's see something. Yeah, you know she'd want Sergio. <laughs> she should send him a text. Because she doesn't really know anyone. I mean, Bjorn... Does she really want to, like... Huh. Oh. <laughs> I wish we could give gifts like you could in The Sims 3. <laughs> so you know what I mean? You could legit control... Uh -huh. Going into, like, if she had a relationship, she could totally... Like, I could I just see her having... I mean, she hates Bjorn, but... Like, what if she was, like, somebody's mistress? Like, they could always, like, give her gifts. Like, you could go in and control that sim and be like, oh, here's a dishwasher, here's this, and, like, buy stuff for their house. Like, you could mm -hmm. kind of do that now and give yourself the money back, but it's just not as dynamic as having that person give your sim a gift. You know what I mean? Uh. Yeah, we already fed him. It's almost his birthday. Okay, not quite his birthday. Is she still sleeping? <laughs> you know what? I feel like he would come in here and wake her up. And be like, hey, 
I want to cloud gaze with you and I want to ask you about your day and I demand relations. <laughs> like, you know, he has no sense of personal space. He's kind of one of those people. Oh, yeah. Hey, so I gave him a different outfit. So there's this one. Let's serenade her a little bit. Hey, hey, come back here. We weren't just telling you to get up. We were telling you to get up because we need things or something from you. Give her a nice little embrace. We'll go woohoo in the closet. Maybe it'll be risky. That would be great. She's trying very hard. Piper's gonna go check this out. We can also check out while we're up here. Let's do outfits. Change outfit. Uh, so that was one of her outfits. We saw that one. That was the second one I had given her. And I gave her this third everyday outfit. So it's that top from uh, the backyard pack. But it looks really cute with that skirt and everything. So you know, and she keeps her little pinky kind of pink theme. Monet has his still original outfit. That might only be the other outfit that I gave him. I don't remember if I gave him anything else. We can check it out, though. We'll find out when they're done. The sounds that they make and the the things that they say when they're woohooing in the closet is just <laughs> hilarious. But yeah, so this was one of his new outfits. He still has that bracelet. But I believe... Oh yeah, okay. So we, that was his normal everyday outfit. We're used to seeing that. This is his other one. And he still has that bracelet. <laughs> He got it actually has both of his bracelets. So I gave him two extra outfits, so they all have like three everyday outfits. He he has, keeps his bracelets, but I kept him kind of casual but still nice. I mean he's an artist, but you know what else. And we saw her okay, her hair I did change for some of her outfits. That was her outfit, we saw that one. Oh, that's true. I totally got rid of the outfit that she was wearing. I kept all of her other outfits the same, I believe. But we saw that first one. I also gave her this one, which is a little preppier. And I think her hairstyle is a little bit different in this one. So it's like skinny pants with those little boat kind of shoes and that. No nope. <laughs> Outfits. And her hair is a little different. And then this one, again, her hair's a little different. And this is just a little... You gave me crabs! No, I mean, that's look like what he said, but... So we'll just keep running this one for right now. And yes, those are stockings. Her legs are not that tan. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like... She's like, wow! Monet's a little crazy. And she's like, don't worry about it. It's fine. You know... I mean, good lord, he just <laughs> lost his mind. They just said woohoo, and he's like now going bonkers. And now he's sitting in here by himself listening to their conversation. Listening to them talk about him. Whoa. And then, yeah, so he realizes, like, oh, right, you know what, I was being kind of a jerk, and... Now they're talking about me losing my mind. I'm flipping out. And that's not what I meant to do. So maybe I should go apologize. So I'm just going to run around to the side of my house. And give my sort of girl friendy, I guess. Like a, a big hug. Outside. Where nobody can see me. And she's going to run completely around the tree. What else? Uh, I, I do not understand their obsession with hugging the the, on the side of the house. But that's what they do. Get engaged. I'm not necessarily sure. So why don't you 
friendly. Let's ask her about her day because you kind of want to do that. Kabuni. Lovers. They're lovers. Larn Wagacharb. Fumu. Why do you always say nasty things to her after you do nice things? He's such. He's batshit insane. He's always like, oh, hey, baby. You know what? I can't handle. I love how the MC Command Center now has the little, uh. I love it. It's like the little Deadpool. It's great. Why? What are you doing? Why are you yelling at her? Okay. You want to try on new outfits in the closet? Okay. Try new outfit. Let's try some new party wear. It's just something he wants to do, so I'm just gonna follow him and have him do it. Cause why not? We're way over time, but we'll have him go play and I'll play in the closet for a little while. And perhaps when we come back in the next part, we will have Annabelle. You know, I'm not opposed to that. Maybe not as a party outfit, but I do like it. I like the whole red, white, and blue thing. Yeah, no, you know what? I give you props for actually not picking out something horrible, because usually when that happens, when the Sims want to play in the closet, they come out looking like a train wreck, wearing that goddamn clown outfit. That is almost awful. Uh, that shirt does not go, but I am almost, like, I don't, I don't hate the, the shoes and the pants. In fact, those pants are scary as I'll get out, but I love them at the same time. Which is not with that top. we got to get a different top for that. And that is... Ooh, shops and bunny grabby! <laughs> nope. That's a big-ass nope. Are you wearing women's jeans? Because that's what it looks like. Wow. Okay. Oh, my God, that poor thing. Oh, good, she's at work. So, okay, how's she doing at work? Let's have you. Oh, there we go. Let's have you work hard. And yeah. So anyway, I believe Piper is probably going to do some research and try to figure out, you know, hey, is Sergio worth going after to try to get some money, mm -hmm. family money, that kind of thing? You know, date. We won't move him in. We'd have to wait till his family dies because I don't know who he lives with. So, <sighs> you know. Might take a while, but what is she doing? What in the world is she doing? Oh, stop that. Stop that. No, put it down. 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 I appreciate you trying to do that, but we need the money. Anyway, so yeah, I will wrap this part up here. I will see you guys next time. Yeah, cool. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.